Well, guys, I talked to a former teacher who says the building could use some upgrades, but if a bond measure is passed, he thinks it won't do enough to help students or get test grades up. The room I taught in here is still still in place, and uh, there's lots of things about the south side that have been neglected for a long time. Chris Brewster knows Capitol Hill High School. He taught there for several years in the 90s. While he thinks it could use some upgrades, he doesn't like the upcoming $955 million bond issue. I really don't feel the bond itself addresses the major issue of academic uh, performance in the district, and it needs to be explicitly stated. He argues it doesn't help improve student learning. If the bond passes, the building would be torn down, and a new Capitol Hill High School would be built. Families that talk to me talk about academic performance and real engagement. They don't speak of fancy buildings and, and new athletic spaces. And Brewster told me new buildings and athletic facilities aren't the number one priority for South OKC families. I know some changes came sort of late in the game after some community leaders were able to get their voice heard, but it still feels like the families here have not really been engaged in the process of what they really need. But others say this huge bond question has been a long time coming. Families with kids at Star Spencer Mid High School want to see their school transformed. My daughter is 49 years old and she attended this school and it seems like it's basically the same as it was then. They want their students to have a new academic environment. I think our children is lacking the things that they should have like the other schools have. And Capitol Hill currently has about 1,300 students. Of course, Election Day is coming up November 8th.